Let's take a look at this one, this brand new feature called init only setters. So here we have a, a class person with last name and first name. We are writing, we're setting the name to Gary Barlow, printing it, changing the first name to Nigel and printing it, which gives us Gary Barlow, then Nigel Barlow. So how do we want to be able to prevent changing the name from Gary to Nigel? Well, if we head to code, let's copy and paste this out again, put this in here. Traditionally, what you would have done here is set this to private set. Private set, meaning you can't set the properties. So you would have had to have done a constructor like this. Name, string first, name. Um, last name is last name. First name is first name and provide in the constructor. This is the traditional way of preventing changing property values after instantiation. So now whilst we can instantiate the object, we can't change the name of the property because it's privately set. run that and now Gary Barlow is set there. With C sharp 9 there's a new way of doing this. We can take our original code here, paste it in there. Now whilst we still want to support setting the properties at initialization we don't want to be able to do this. We don't want this to be possible but we don't want to have to write a constructor like this. So what we can simply do is change the set to init, which means we get to keep the initialization properties here, but this is no longer possible. So traditionally you've been able to do this, obviously change the value of a property after instantiating the class. If you've wanted to prevent this traditionally, you would have had to have created a constructor, sets the setters to private, and then trying to change the value of a property is not possible. However, with C sharp nine, you can use init only setters, which means you can still use the inline instantiation, but you're prevented from changing the values afterwards. And you don't have to write a constructor. How cool is that?